What's up everyone, I'm Casey Martin from Wine Country Pens and in this video I'm going to show you all how I stabilize some sweet gum pots. So if you are going to stabilize you need a few things. You need a thermometer for your toaster oven or any kind of oven. You need a mason jar or some type of vacuum chamber and then you definitely need some stabilizing resin. I personally like to use cactus juice. I'll leave a link down below where you can obtain that. If you're watching this video you might have already heard about it but Basically what stabilizing does, if you are not aware, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that mason jar under vacuum and that's going to pull all of the air out of these sweet gum pods and then I'll let that soak overnight and then I, what will happen then is the stabilizing resin will soak in to all of those air pockets that were evacuated under vacuum and then after that I'll take them out, I'll put them into a toaster oven at a certain degree, which is 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and then that is when the resin will cure it. It's it's cured by heat. So I, I'll also show at the end of the video, there's some great directions that Curtis Seebeck, who is the owner of uh, the company that makes cactus juice. So if you ever are going to buy cactus juice to stabilize, you'll get these instructions and they're phenomenal. And there's a ton of information on his website as well, but I just wanted to touch a little bit on the basics. So what I'm doing now, as you can see, I filled all of the cactus juice resin up to above the sweet gum pods. And then the lid I use that I'm about to show you all right now is actually a lid that I got from Turntex, which is the company that makes cactus juice. And it can be used on any type of mason jar or any type of jar that fits the diameter that the lid can work with it. It has a range. I don't know the range off the top of my head. And this mason jar I just got from Target for probably like eight or nine bucks or something. And if you ever are going to be doing this, you need to make sure that you don't want to let the bubbles get to the top of your vacuum chamber. However you're doing it, I was lucky enough in this case that there wasn't too many bubbles because I wasn't using all of my vacuum chambers capacity. So after it has been going for about five or six hours, I turn it off and then I let it soak overnight. So about 12 hours or actually less than that, probably like 10 or 11, but still let it soak for a long time. And then now is the tedious and boring part of taking them all out, drying them as much as I can, also letting them drip back into the, the mason jar because the cactus juice is reusable. And then in the past, I have tried rolling them all up and separating them so they don't stick, but this time I tried rolling them up into tin foil, all in separate individual balls, and it worked out great. Of course, it, it took a lot longer than the other method, but I'm actually pretty happy with the results. And so while I was doing this, I preheated the oven, the toaster oven. I have another one that you'll see in a second, 200 degrees. And then once all of these were all wrapped up and ready to go, I put them in there. And that also takes a couple hours, two, three hours. It depends on the material you're using and everything. But in general, this whole process is a really long, not, well, it's not incredibly long, but it's a waiting game. You, you got to wait and it doesn't hurt the longer you wait for any aspect of this process. Just want to show you the leftover resin. And what's great is that it's reusable, like I said, so I save that, I use a funnel to put it back in to the jar. There is all of the sweet gum pods. Here's what one looks like. And you can tell that it's ready when this uh, juice that bleeds out is solid. So I pick that up and you can totally tell it. I could tell it was solid, hopefully you can as well. And, then, and there they all are. Uh, this was definitely fun to do. I'm planning on making this a three-part series. The second video will be casting these into some pen blanks, and the third part will be turning a project. So I really hope you all enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. No hard feelings. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, there's the directions, just like I mentioned. So please have a great day, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.